looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now look no further than my sponsor mutt coin bank guys you seriously cannot beat that value i promise use code poodle for five percent off your order what's going on everybody it's poodle back with another madden ultimate team video guys and today i'm gonna be going over the best budget piece in madden 21 guys i recently made this video about earlier in the month i would say but you guys have been asking for an updated list because a lot of you guys Love budget piece, right? And this is the point in the year where budget piece get pretty popular because some guys get this game late, like on EA Access, will be free, or at the local GameStop, it's on sale for like 23 bucks, you know, 30 bucks, or they get it as a, you know, a birthday gift late, you know, if they have an early birthday or Valentine's Day or, you know, literally anything, Easter, any little thing comes on graduation gift like you get mad and it's like oh okay well it was a cheap game but like you want to play you hop an ultimate team and i promise you not many people are going to spend too much money at this point in the game that haven't already spent it right they may just say like oh, okay what's cheap like what can i afford off solos and that's when budget piece get pretty popular so before we get into the video though hit that subscribe button turn the noti bell boys come join the family give this video a big thumbs up as always and if you haven't already comment down below let me know what's your favorite budget piece in the game and also when did you start playing madden was it the first day of the game was it early in the year was it christmas was it now post new year but yeah if you guys need coins for any of these budget beasts and you don't want to buy packs at least head over to muck coin bank save on coins pick that up for super cheap and don't waste money on packs but yeah, let's head over to the store and start this up boys though so, coming in number eight this guy is super super fire in my opinion he's a great budget beast and again this is one of my favorite things and it's the ultimate legend physical players they are super good for a lot of people these physical ones are just some great cards jeremy shockey physical right here We'll get 92 speed with 91 catching, 91 catching traffic, 90 spec catch, 91 short running, and 91 medium right running. And you can even get the run blocking threshold if you put run blocking uh, zone run on him. So he's going to be one of the best tight ends, uh, you know, like threshold wise in the game. And he's only going to cost you around, let's see what his price went for again. It was uh, physical. Jeremy Shockey is only going for in the range of 60 ish K, 50 K. That's a screaming value for a Jeremy Shockey card. I highly recommend you guys give it a chance and go scoop it up. So on the list guys still on this list all year long dk metcalf at 156 and you can get him for free from the solos don't forget that so he's even cheaper if you still haven't played that solo he's still on this list guys you can't beat this value he can be powered up so he gets 96 speed he gets all the route running thresholds he gets all the catching thresholds he's six foot three after the catch he has a decent stiff arm you know decent juke and a few other things uh good break tackle dk metcalf just an all-around great receiver and he's a fun guy you know because he's a real life player you know currently that's you know kind of all the hype right now so dk metcalf definitely a fun guy to scoop up he's been on this list for quite a while now you just you can't kick him off this list right he's just such a great value especially because he's free on top of everything which is probably the best aspect of it even on top of his stats Next, guys, AJ Terrell. This AJ Terrell card has been on this list for quite a while, too. You really can't beat it. AJ Terrell right here, 95 overall. Right now, he's 200K, guys. He's not usually this price, usually in the 100K range. And you can also go ahead and play some solos. But AJ Terrell is really good as well. He's going to be what you need in a corner right now. Powered up and chemmed up, he can get up to 98 speed. He can get up to 96 excel. And don't forget, he gets 99 man, zone, and press. And that is so important, guys. You don't understand. Having 99 zone, man, and press on a budget team is important. Because essentially, you have a corner that could play anyone on the field. And on a budget team, right? So other people are paying for these 99 overall corners. You know, chemmed up, powered up, 99 overall. When you're going to get a guy for hopefully you know when this comes down a fraction of the price and he's going to be able to essentially do the same things with similar speed he'll miss some of the intangibles like his catching maybe his block shed maybe his hip power but for the most part he's going to do his job which is to lock people up all that extra stuff is what you're paying for right when you pay for guys like Darrell Revis or Darius Slay you're paying for those extra stats that some guys just don't get but it's not always for everyone especially when you're trying to be a budget team next as we have Patrick Peterson now the reason he's on this list is because he can he has the training uh power pass option don't forget about that this Patrick Peterson is able to, first off, he's only like 140K. But if not, if you guys have training sitting around, you can go power him up to his 96 overall powered up. And you can power pass him for like 50,000 training or something like that. Or maybe even less. I don't remember the exact price. But this Patrick Peterson is super good. He will get powered up and chemed up 97 speed and 99 man and 99 zone and 98 press and 98 play rec. He's a super good corner, guys. I highly recommend you scoop him up. He's six foot one. And I believe he even has some hip power too on the back of the card. He has 77 hip power is decent. And considering, you know, he has some change of direction. He has some catching in 81. Overall, just a pretty good card. Um, next, guys, another similar situation to Patrick Peterson. And that's going to be the, my best, the, I think the best budget quarterback in the game, Kyler Murray. Kyler Murray, same situation, guys. He only goes for about 149K, as you can see here. And he has the power up option. So you can go ahead and power pass him as well if you don't want to pay for the card. He's going to be a budget quarterback that gets to 96 speed, has a good release, a pretty good release, and gets all the thresholds that you're going to need, and he's super cheap, right? Um, he's able to get 96, uh, 95 speed, sorry, sorry, 96 speed. 
99 throw power. He will get 99 throw short. Sorry, 98 throw short, but he will have all the thresholds, right? He's not going to have any 99 thresholds on throwing, but he will get all the 90 thresholds for throwing. He'll have probably close to 99 throw on the run. And then behind the stack card, he has 94 change of direction, 91 juke, uh, 93 break sack, and then all around just a pretty great quarterback from that aspect. Next is actually a new guy. This guy just came out with a free agency promo, and this is going to be Curtis Samuel. Curtis Samuel did just get a pretty good free agency card. Another good wide receiver to scoop up at 106K, 94 overall. He will get 96 speed off the rip. No power up included. So he's actually even cheaper because some of those guys do need a power up to get some of their stats. Curtis Samuel, all you got to do, put uh, put play fake on him. He'll get medium route running threshold hit. And that's it. He'll have all the catching thresholds. He'll have all the he'll have the speed already. Toss sprinter on him. You can get up to 98 speed. And then, of course, you know, he can catch as well. And then behind the card, I mean, he has 93 change of direction, 94 juke. All around a great after the catch out receiver. Break tackles at a 90. He's super, super good. Next for our budget beast running back, who I actually think is really good again. Shout out to the Ultimate Legend physical cards. For a measly 49k in this weird card art, you get Jim Thorpe, who will have 95 speed and 97 excel. At base card, right? That's his base. He doesn't have a power up, of course, but you can still chem him up and upgrade him. He will have 99. He can get up to close to, uh, you know, he can get his speed up there. He can get his excel up there. His agility is already 98, which is crazy. So he has crazy good agility, speed, and excel for under 50K, right? That's crazy. 87 break tackles, modest. 94 change of direction. You know, that's really good. Carrying's a little bit low, but you got to take some of the, you know, some L's here, right? Uh, 85 juking's a bit low, but that pure speed, like being able to just being able to, you know, make a play. And then defensively, he has an 83 hit power for some reason. So I guess if you throw a pick, know that Jim Thorpe is going to be taking a beeline for the secondary guy or the linebacker, whoever has that pick. He is killing him. He can even kind of play man coverage to impress a little bit, which is just super weird. I don't I don't, I don't, know why he can. Um, next, guys, for the final guy, another physical card. Now, this guy's probably the best uh, user budget in the game. And that's going to be Brian Dawkins. Brian Dawkins is a great budget safety user. His physical card right here again at around, uh, yeah, 60K, I believe. 60k for brian dawkins right you're going to get a 94 speed 95 excel 87 hip power 85 zone six feet tall and of course 72 catching now what really matters here guys though isn't going to be isn't going to be the man isn't going to be the zone isn't going to be the player because you're using him when you're using a card you look at around like maybe four things speed excel hip power height and here's the fifth change of direction change of direction to 93 that's so important because a, a lot of guys don't get above 90, right? Especially on a budget card. So you're going to have top tier threshold change of direction so you can change around while you're using. Hit power is 87, which is decent enough to at least lay a boom. You may not force a fumble, but you'll lay the boom. And then speed's 94, which is crazy fast. Excel's 95, which is crazy quick. And then he's six feet tall, 210, which means he has the body to box people out a little bit too. Brian Dawkins is just a super, super great and physical free safety, which a lot of you guys probably appreciate in the budget squad. Now, that is it for the video, guys. That is the whole budget list right there. We got Shockey, we got Metcalf, AJ Terrell, Patrick Peterson, Kyler Murray, Curtis Samuel, Jim Thorpe, and Brian Dawkins. That is a complete A right there. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. Comment down below your favorite budget beast from this list. Comment down your favorite one in general. And of course, if you guys need coins, head over to Muck Coin Bank down below. Use code Poodle for 5% off. Always like the video always comment guys make sure to subscribe and turn on that noti bell make sure to check out today's morning video we did just get the ap update which is going to change things for a lot of people should hurt some meta teams a little bit but remember meta teams always bounce back right they'll have the new cheese they'll have the new uh meta scheme pretty soon but one step ahead wasn't nerfed per se but they did hinder your ability to be able to just go ahead and get it right so that's going to be a little bit different so definitely you know keep an eye out on that but otherwise guys about it enjoy the rest of your day i'm out peace